with you. Please be seated. The court is now back in session, and the chamber will give the floor to Kiss and Paul's defense to put the questions to this civil party. Counsel, do you have the floor? Defense counsel. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. I only have a few uh, questions uh, to put to you. When you were asked about your place of birth by the co-prosecutor, you uh, made some reply, to, but I'd like uh, to get clarification. And in your response, uh, you said that you were uh, born in uh, Cambodia. My question to you is the following. In a document, the 22-3205, which is a victim information form, that is your victim information form, it uh, stated that uh, your uh, nationality is uh, Khmer Kampuchea Crown. And my question to you is the following. Are you aware that uh, that was the case? Civil party, of course, I know because I lived in uh, Kampuchea Crown or Khmer Crown Council. My question to you is the whether you are, you, you are a Khmer crown or you are a Khmer person? And uh, I am a, an upper Khmer or Khmer Le. Counsel, thank you. However, in your victim information form to become a civil party, it is read that your nationality is uh, Khmer Crown. And uh, my question to you is why it is stated that you are Khmer Crown on that victim information form? And sir, I came to live uh, in uh, Khmer Le although I used to live in uh, Khmer Crown. Question. My question to you is about uh, what is recorded on the victim information form, which it states that uh, your nationality is uh, Khmer Crown. And I want to know uh, why there is a, a difference as you stated, you are not my crown, but on the form, it is uh, read that uh, your nationality is my crown. And my question to you is why there is a such a uh, discrepancy? Answer, yes, I understand your question. I, I had a nationality as a Khmer Crown, but then I came to live in a Cambodia or, or Upper Khmer or Khmer Le. Question. When you lived in Vietnam, what was your nationality or was it a Khmer Crown? Answer. When I came to Cambodia or Upper Khmer, I changed my nationality as what it is uh, currently known. But I was born in a Khmer Crown. So let me be perfectly clear uh, that uh, did you refer to your nationality as Khmer Crown in the past? Answer, yes, I did. I used to uh, refer to my nationality as I was born in uh, Vietnam. 
question. Can you specify whether you, t you used to say your nationality was uh, Vietnamese or, or Khmer Krau? Uh, please uh, respond as uh, what you said did not go through the interpretation system. Answer, uh, my nationality was Kampuchea uh, Krau or Khmer Krau. Question, on your identification card, which is also uh, on the document D22 slash 3205, On the on a copy of your ID card, it uh, it reads that uh, your place of birth was at Priel Village, Saum Commune, Kiribung District, Takai Province. Why did you state uh, a place of birth on the ID, which is uh, not true? Answer: It was. Uh, Process or organized uh, by my mother when the ID card uh, was made. At that time, I was rather young, so it was not. Uh, I did not know about that. Council, the identification card that I refer to is actually a new identification. Uh, Card of the uh, Kingdom of uh, Cambodia, and it is uh, signed, or it is made on the 17th July 2002. So it was about uh, 12 years ago, and it was uh, issued by the uh, Phnom Penh municipality. At the time of its uh, issuance, uh, were you still a young girl or were you already an adult or a woman? Answer, I was uh, already mature. Question, who made that uh, ID card? Was it you or was it your mother? Answer, it was uh, organized by my mother. Question, so you did not go to uh, the place where the ID was uh, processed or made? Answer, yes. Question, because for the ID uh, processing, you had to be uh, there yourself to be ph photographed and to fill in the particulars, and it could not be done by someone else on your behalf. Is that the case? Answer, yes, I went there and to have my uh, photograph taken. I went there, I went there by myself. Question, let me go back uh, to my uh, question. Why there is a difference in your nationality? You stated that you were born in uh, Khmer Crown, but on your ID card, you uh, mentioned that you were born in uh, Cambodia, that is in Priel Village, Saum Commune, Kiribung District, Takao Province. Can you tell the chamber why there is such a difference? Answer. I, in fact, was born in Priel Village, Kiribong District, Yatakai Province. Question. So, the statement you made previously that you were born in Vietnam is not correct. Is that true? Answer. 
Yes, I was born in Kiribong uh, district, Dakar pro province, and I uh, was not uh, born in uh, Khmer Crown, and I apologize for the mistake. Council, uh, thank you. Can you recall who actually helped you in uh, filling the victim information form? Answer, what form are you referring to? Council, I refer to the victim information form which has a, a document ID that is D22-3205. Do you recall that? Answer. I uh, remember uh, someone gave me an assistance in uh, filling out that form. Question. Do you know the name of the person? Answer. Yes. Question. What is the name? Answer. Uh, the name was Nyan. Council, thank you. In that uh, same document, that is the victim information form, at the uh, location where a witness provided a thumbprint, it stated that a person that provided a thumbprint as a witness is Chao Ni. Do you know that a person that is Chao Ni? Answer, no, I don't know uh, uh, the, anyone by the name of Chao Ni. Counsel, on your victim information form, this person, Chao Ni, signed that form as a witness. So, uh, your response is that you don't know this person or never uh, meet this person, Chao Ni. Uh, can you uh, confirm that? Answer. I do not know uh, any person uh, by the name of uh, Chao Ni. Not at all. And I have uh, never seen an individual by that name. Council, this person, Chao Ni, uh, actually came to testify before this chamber in case 02 slash 01 as a civil party. Maybe this can refresh your memory. Answer, no. I do not know this person, and I don't have any contact with this person. Uh, President, uh, Defense Council, you should actually direct your question on the statement of uh, suffering or impact uh, of the civil party. That is the main purpose of this afternoon the proceeding. Defense Council, uh, yes, Mr. President. And now I move on to another uh, topic that is about the uh, reparation. In document D25-3205, uh, says the Council on the last page, In the English language, which is only a one-page document, uh, it is uh, towards the end of the document, which uh, reads, and let me quote, in this complaint, I would like to ask for some compensation for my mental sufferings and the property that I lost uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime 
such as houses, cattle, buffaloes, and so on. End of quote. My question to you, Madam Civil Party, is the following. Do you, do you still stand by your request for an individual reparation as stated on this uh, document? Answer. Of course, I uh, uh, request for a reparation, and if it is awarded, of course, that is good. If it's not, what can I do? Because I lost my property, what else I can do besides uh, uh, making that claim? Council, can you make it a bit uh, clearer? Are you still uh, making a request for an award or reparation, or do you forfeit it? Answer. I don't want to claim for anything else, but I want to, to claim for my husband. I want my husband to be back. My husband and my lost child. Counsel, you seem to not to respond to my uh, question, and if you wish not to respond to my question, I'll enter my question now. Answer. I don't know what else uh, I uh, can uh, ask for as I already lost uh, my uh, property. Counsel, the reason that I ask you this question because you made that a statement on the form that is your request for the reparation for the loss of your houses, uh, cattle, uh, so on and so forth during the Democratic Cambodia regime. And my question is that are you still standing by your request for uh, reparations as, or compensations as stated on that form? Answer, I don't know what else I uh, can say regarding the compensations because I, I, I am illiterate. I don't know what else I can do. Council, thank you, Mr. President. I don't have any further question for this uh, civil party. President, uh, thank you, uh, Madam Taksan, for uh, your uh, statement of uh, suffering and harms that uh, you suffered under the Democratic Cambodia regime. And your time is now expired, and you may return to wherever you wish to go. And the Chamber wish you a safe journey. Court officer, in collaboration with uh, Wisu, please make necessary transportation of Madame Taksan to her uh, residence or wherever she wishes uh, to go to. And as for the TPO staff, uh, please remain uh, seated as you may, as you are uh, required to provide assistance to another civil uh, party that is to TCCP 985 and uh, court officer please usher that civil party into the courtroom President, good afternoon, Madam Civil Party. What is your name? Civil Party. My name is Im Yen. Question. Thank you very much, Madam Im Yen. 
When were you born? Answer. I was born on the 8th of uh, September 1970, but uh, I was actually born in 1968. President, where were you born? What is your current address, rather? Answer, I live in Tulpungro com, uh, Village, Salm Commune, Kiriwong District, in Takao Province. Question, what is your occupation? Answer, I am a rice farmer. Question, what are your parents' names? Answer, my father's name is Mom Pro. What is your mother's name? Answer, my mother's name is Om Yon. Question, what is your husband's name? How many children do you have together? Answer, my husband's name is Sam On. I have seven children. President, thank you very much. The chamber now hands over the floor to the lead co-lawyer to put questions to the civil party in relation to the sufferings and injury she experienced during the democratic Kampuchea. You may proceed. Oh. Council, thank you very much. My name is Lao Chun Thi. I am the civil party lawyer. Good afternoon, Madam Im Yen. My first question is that in 1975, you were where were you transferred uh, in 1975? Answer. In 1975, I went to leave. I was transferred from uh, Tulpungro village, Saum Commune, Kiriwong district, to live in Tropeng Thom Kang Chung Commune. Tramka District, Takao Province. Council, thank you. What about in 1976? What unit? Uh, were you transferred to? Answer, in 1976, they sent me to live in Tulkru village, during which I was separated from my parents and I was asked to work. I was asked to dig uh, the uh, earth at Tulkru Dam. We were separated in uh, 10 groups, and there were 50 units in one group. And uh, I was asked to dig uh, the, the earth, and uh, 10 people, we, we were asked to dig 10 cubic uh, meter, and if we were in the 15 member group, we were asked to dig uh, 15 meter cubic, cubic meters of soil. 
or if I could not uh, complete uh, the quota, uh, I uh, would be deprived of food. In 1977, I ran to see my uh, parents, and I, I was uh, captured at that time, and after that, I was asked to go and collect uh, the cow dung. I could not perform my duty because I was too young at that time. Since I was too young, I uh, missed my parents. At that time, because I uh, missed my parents too much, uh, I uh, was arrested and I was uh, buried for a few hours. I was warned not to do such a thing again, otherwise I would be killed. I was uh, very hungry and I was very thirsty. I was buried uh, up to my neck. Uh, I called uh, for my parents' help, but uh, no one could come to help me. I underwent uh, sufferings at that time. After that time, I uh, was uh, put back into my unit. When I was buried uh, up to my n neck, I, uh, I uh, was left there for a while, and later on I was put back in the unit to work in 1978. I was asked to uh, cut Kantian kite uh, plants to mix with uh, the urine and the, and the swines uh, to make a fertilizer. And uh, the, the fertilizer was uh, cooked in a big pot. And uh, we were asked to uh, carry uh, the fertilizer which were put in the pots. In fact, uh, I tried to escape from uh, my unit a few times, two or three times. I, uh, at that time, was arrested uh, again and again. I was put in uh, the cooperative bag uh, after my arrest. Uh, I, I was waiting at that time, and I was uh, very uh, hungry. I stole some food to eat. Since I was uh, too hungry, I uh, went and chased the ox car to uh, steal uh, a few uh, cassava. I was spotted at that time. I, uh, because I was spotted, I threw uh, back uh, the uh, cassava onto uh, the cassava, onto the ox cart. Later, I, I was put in uh, the Sui Dam. I was asked uh, where I uh, was. Uh, I, I told uh, them that uh, I uh, was put in the Sui Dam. There were uh, Unit 1 and Unit 2. I was taken by the chief of the units. I did not know why I was uh, brought. And when I was asked to climb up to the house, I uh, was uh, tied up. And I was told that because I, I stole something, I uh, was tied up. Uh, as I said, I was tied up. Uh, my uh, legs were tied up and my hands were tied to the back, behind my back. They tied my hair to uh, the uh, window bar. I was thirsty during that time. I called a person ball and I asked for water. I was deprived of food. I was so starved and hungry. I asked uh, for food and water for a few time and uh, he did not hear what I asked. Uh, 
at the third time when I asked uh, again, I was uh, given the water. And uh, after that, uh, the uh, chief of the unit uh, uh, brought in a whip or a bamboo stick uh, and uh, they hit on my abdomen and I was warned that uh, next time please uh, do not uh, go and uh, steal something and I replied no I, I would not do it again when night falls uh, the other children came to uh, the house I discussed with the two children that uh, I wanted to go to relieve myself. The two children did not dare to ask, uh, but I decided to ask uh, that person. And uh, during that time, I pretended to relieve myself for a long uh, period of time because uh, I, my legs and food were so hurt. At night time, when the children returned from their work, when uh, at night time, when the other children returned to uh, uh, their returned from their work, uh, they also saw that uh, the two children and I were tied up. And uh, after that time, I was called to a self-criticism uh, meeting. And uh, the, at that time, there was a child uh, standing up to say that uh, those who committed wrong should uh, come to confess. So I confessed uh, at that time. And after the meeting, I was asked uh, to go back to work. I was told that on the 10th and the 20th of every month to rest. But as time went on, uh, the rest time uh, was reduced and uh, I did not uh, uh, enjoy any uh, rest on the 10th or the 20th uh, of every month. Council, you responded, you stated that uh, you were allowed to visit your parents on the 10th and 20th of every month. Since you enjoyed that uh, latitude, why uh, did you still uh, go to see your parents on other days? Answer. I stated that uh, there was the 10th and the 20th of every month that we were allowed to go and visit our parents. But uh, our rest time to visit our parents was reused. Because of this, I uh, ran to visit um, my uh, parents. I was young at that time. I need uh, my parents to take care of me, food ration was reused, the time to visit my parents was reused, so I decided to uh, uh, sneak to see my parents. Council, during that time, you were assigned in a mobile unit. Did, was there any uh, training or education uh, sessions in your mobile units? Answer, during that time, there was no education assessment. Uh, we were only asked to work uh, at daytime and night time. Council, what about food ration? You stated that 
during the time that you went to collect uh, the pig dung and cow dung, uh, you stole uh, uh, cassava. What about the food ration during that time? Wh how was it? Answer. I uh, stole cassava at the time that I uh, went to collect uh, uh, the pig and cow dung because I did not have enough food. That is why I decided to steal uh, the cassava. Council, you said that you were arrested when you were stealing uh, the cassava and you were tortured. Your legs and hands were tied up. Uh, is that true? Answer, yes, uh, I stated that I uh, was tortured at that time. I uh, was so hungry at that time, that is why I, uh, I went to steal the cassava. I was arrested while I was stealing cassava, and I was uh, through, thrown uh, onto the cart a, a few times. And after that, I was uh, uh, taken to be tortured. Council. You said you were separated from your parents. Was it, does, uh, did it happen from uh, 1976 until 1979? Answer, I uh, was separated from my parents from 1976, but uh, I was allowed to visit my parents three times a month, and later on, uh, my visit time was reduced to once a month only. And as I was young, I uh, missed uh, my uh, parents so miserably. Council, you said that you miss your parents miserably. Did you ask permission to visit your parents at that time? Answer, I uh, miss them so much. I uh, wanted to ask permission to visit my parents. I uh, didn't, I was I did not allow, I was not allowed to do so because uh, they had uh, the schedule for me to visit uh, my parents on specific dates and I asked uh, them already a few times but I was not allowed to visit my parents. Council, you stated earlier that uh, the chief unit arrested you and uh, buried you Was this the kind of uh, torture that you experienced, and why were you tortured? Answer, I mentioned that I was arrested and uh, buried. The reason was that I ran away from my unit to visit my parents. Council, when you were a buried, were you buried alone, or were you bur being buried in front of others? So how was you buried? Answer. There was a pit uh, which can 
put me in. And uh, I was uh, buried uh, deep uh, to my uh, neck uh, as a warning for me not to commit such a wrong again. Counsel, when you were being buried, were you allowed to have some food? At that time, I was deprived of food and of water. I was starved and so thirsty, my whole body was in pain. I uh, called for my parents' help, but uh, no one could uh, come to help me. After I was arrested, I was uh, buried, uh, not in front of other. The other children went, already went to work, and uh, I was buried at the unit where I was uh, staying at that time. My last question to you is the following. Can you please uh, tell the chamber that uh, when you were separated from your parents and that you were not given an opportunity to go to school, what was your feeling about that? And also on the matter that you were arrested and uh, buried beaten and tortured, I'd like you to make a, a statement about uh, that suffering, or whether you can compare such a suffering uh, to something uh, that you can uh, do uh, for the chamber. Answer. I was buried alive, and nothing could compare to it. I was buried uh, up to my neck. I could not move, and I could not do anything. I tried to call my parents, but no one would answer my call. And it was the greatest pain I experienced. Questioned. Up to today, has that suffering gone, or is it still living with you? Answer. Every time I recall it, it is vividly living in front of my eyes as I was living during the regime. And that happens every time I recall, uh, I recall it. Question. And uh, the lingering effect of what happened there will give you any consequence uh, or impact upon your current life. Uh, can you uh, describe it to the court? Answer. During the regime, I did not have the, a chance uh, to go uh, to school. And now for, I am uneducated. I don't know uh, anything better than anyone. At that time, there was no school, and I was not allowed to uh, attend any study. Question. What about your health condition? Answer. Health-wise, health -wise, uh, I am not that strong. During the regime, I was still young, and I was forced to overwork. Question. Finally, 
Do you have any uh, questions that you wish to put to the two accused? Answer. I have two questions that I like to ask them. My first question is the following. Why you two inflicted the torture on children like myself? What were you thinking about when you did that? President, uh, Defense Council, or you have the floor if you have uh, some matter to rest. Kung sum on. It is uh, my observation uh, that the question that to the accused uh, is not uh, directed uh, through uh, the president of the chamber. Uh, could you please uh, give such instruction uh, to the civil party? Civil party lawyer, uh, Mr. President. I asked uh, whether the uh, civil party has any question for uh, the accused, and as the civil party does not know about the standing uh, procedures in this court, could you please uh, accept the question by the civil party? President, uh, does he have any more question? Council, I don't have any further question. President, And Madam Ian Jane, the Chamber wishes to inform you that after ascertaining the position of both accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, the Chamber notes that the two accused maintain their express position unless and until such time, the chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co-accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the chamber in a timely and efficient manner should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent and be willing to respond to questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings. Insofar as of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co-accused have changed their express position and has agreed to provide their responses to uh, questions. President, and the co-prosecutors, do you intend to put questions to the civil party? Deputy National Co-Prosecutor, uh, President, uh, yes, we do have some questions. President, uh, thank you for your uh, clarification. President, uh, today's uh, proceeding has come to an adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn now and uh, resume tomorrow. That is the 2nd April 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. For uh, tomorrow uh, proceeding, we will continue to hear the testimony of the statement of suffering and harm by this current civil party, Ian Jane, and three other civil parties. to TCCP 288, to TCCP 981, and to TCCP 893. This information is for both the parties and the public. And Madam Im the Chamber is grateful for your time to 
provide a statement of suffering and harms. However, it is not yet concluded. Therefore, you are invited to return tomorrow morning to this courtroom uh, to uh, continue at 9 o'clock in the morning. And court officer, please make an arrangement uh, in collaboration with WISU uh, for the civil party to return to her uh, residence or place of stay and have her return into the uh, courtroom tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock. And the TPL staff, you are also uh, invited uh, to return uh, tomorrow morning to assist uh, the civil party and security personnel. You are instructed to take the two accused back to the detention facility and return them uh, to the uh, courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. The court is now returned.